Hello, 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 my loves. We have Thias, we have William. Who else we got here tonight? And there, hurry us. How you doing? How's everybody doing? Everybody hanging in there? Got a lot of attacks coming at us, guys. Lots. Hi, Kick It. Hey, Dan, baby. Mwah. Yeah, I think all of us are right now, guys. Um, in the last two days, I can say I've had at least three physical attempts at trying to disturb my energy. And 10, 15 unnatural attempts try to disturb my energy. Try to knock me off balance. And for a minute or two, they, they succeeded. But that's when you go, breathe in the light, breathe out the negativity. Um, and music never hurts either. Hey, Zena, how you doing? Jennifer, wow, we got some people here already. So basically just breathe, guys. And I, I think on the Scorpio bit, it said, be like the water that runs around the rock or something like that. Just, just flow. Shit's happening since 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 certain someone's death. There there's a, there's a lot of stuff going on, not just on this plane, but on a few. Oh yeah, honey, see now I feel you, baby. I I, I even had to to do something I would have never done to somebody. So I feel you. If I, it, it's about self self preservation at this point, you know. You, you can only you can only spread yourself so thin. Oh yeah, it's there's uh, I think seven planets in retrograde right now, Zena. It's not just Mercury. Uranus is the one that's making things so unpredictable, and that is in retrograde. So that's the planet that shakes things up. With that. And Mercury in retrograde, you have no idea what's being shaken up. You have no idea. Things you can't see, things you can see. Um, things you can hear, things you can't hear. A lot of us that are on this path are walking antennas. Therefore, we that's why we tend to be introverts. Is because when we go around other people, we feel that. We feel their frustration. We feel their anxiety. We feel their <laughs> depression. I think I dragging den. I burned the shit out. I burned the shit out of sage. <laughs> hmm. and exactly. You're like an antenna. You're like walking around going. Bzzz. And that's why a lot of people are attracted to your light. You know, it's because it shows. Christian, la la la. <laughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> You're crushing eggshells. What do you mean by that? With your brain? Are you like, are you like doing it like, like with the te telekinetic power, William? I like to see there. I care about being me. You need to care. That's the whole point to this. It is it is still preservation time. A lot of the things that are trying to bring your vibe down is because of what's going on. La la la. And it's doing a damn good job for a lot of people. I mean, people I didn't think could be penetrated like that. 
are calling me and freaking out and calling me names. And uh, I just didn't expect, I mean, I expected something, but I, I didn't expect all that. Um, because I refused to give up my life for them, you know? For once, I'm I, I'm comfortable in my life, and I'm not going to give up this for chaos. Woofie, woof woof. Well, I'm glad you uh, you came in and visited us. <laughs> You're ignoring Mr. Taurus. Ah, la, la. I ignore most Tauruses. Misery likes misery. No, 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 not true, not true. We are not miserable people in here. Have you been to these lives, Zena? We laugh probably more than any other live on, on set, except for people who are just doing stupid shit to do stupid shit. I mean, the jokes are real here. I'm in a tech storm. Oh no, you're in one of those too, kid. I went I went through one of those today too, and I had to block a bitch. Hi Evelyn, how you doing, baby? Um, yeah, I, I had to block somebody I didn't want to block, but I didn't have any choice because, you know, I mean you can only take so much verbal abuse before it gets stupid and and you just can't do it no more. Even if you even if you stick up for yourself and you gotta you got a good uh, argument. It don't matter. You know, you're still the piece of shit they, they, they say you are. And, and I'm not hanging with that. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just block you. When you get over it, we'll talk. Grow the fuck up, man. I'm growing up. I'm accepting responsibility for my shit. I'm doing what I need to do to survive, to take care of me. I'm not responsible anymore for children and for, you know, other people's lives and all that. Hey, Jeffro, how you doing? Which is why I kind of don't want to get into a relationship because people want you, want you to take on their responsibilities. And it's like, take on your own responsibilities and I'll take on my own responsibilities. We'll call it a day. No, nah, April, no more. My kid is 40. Kid, 40. She'll be 40 this year. Still acting like she's 12. Yeah, we, we, we laugh a lot. Your son's 25. Well, see, they're still moldable at that age. At 40, man, you, so you think they grow out of this stuff. They don't. They don't grow out of it, judge, judging their parents and, and telling them, you're the most horrible parent in the world. You didn't give me the life I wanted. You know, did the best I could do as a single parent most times. At 50, you just don't care anymore. So that that's, you know, it's like, I don't know. I think that's when I grew up. Well, kind of, because I still ain't grown up. I, I'm never going to grow up. Not, not like that. I'll be this little old lady still going Comic-Con and wearing roller skates. You bet your ass I will be. <laughs> Life sentence ain't so long at 50. Fuck if it ain't, man. I'm going to be here till 150. You watch. And if not, oh well. I'll come back and I'll bring my army back with me. That's, that, that's what I'm going to start calling us is Anya's army. Army of misfits, but we're a bunch of badasses because we got huge balls. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> we got the biggest balls of all. <laughs> we heard that song. What well, what song is that? <laughs> what song is that? <laughs> what song am I talking about? She's got big balls, and he's got big balls, and they've got big balls, but we've got the biggest balls of <laughs> You guys ain't never heard that. <laughs> a big ass pool table. <laughs> I'll pick that bitch up and throw it at you. Don't even try me. <laughs> oh yeah, that's who did it. ACDC. I was trying to figure out if you did that song. <laughs> that's the song that came into mind when we were, when we were just talking about balls. <laughs> I love the CDC. They're, they're some crazy mofos. You ever watch Angus? And it, it looks like his front lips about to flap off while I've seen them in uh, I've seen them in concert a few times. They're pretty good in concert. Great balls of fire. Yeah, we got that one too. My mom almost killed me singing. <laughs> what the big ball song by ACDC? That was the best. That was the best of music. We used to have such a good time to that music. <laughs> hey, Heather, how you doing, baby? <laughs> she got me by the ball. She got me by the short and curlies. <laughs> Where Travis? Or Travis? Why is he Travis? I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking. I don't know why I was thinking about Travis. I don't even know anybody named Travis. <laughs> DJ. <laughs> you ever seen that commercial? <laughs> I do one now with Lumi that they, 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 they use all these little like rubber balls and they put the Lumi on them and they roll them around in their hands. <laughs> and it's that easy to apply. <laughs> hey, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> hey, kid, remember when you used, you used to go to haunted houses and people would put, like, marbles and slime and make you stick your hand in them and tell you they were eyeballs? Remember that? <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> That's exactly what it reminds me of. <laughs> <laughs> We're, we're sorry, not sorry, DJ. <laughs> You're awful, Christian. <laughs> I, I climb a man like a tree. I would have to, I'm short. <laughs> Either that or we'd have to be horizontal. <laughs> Even Asian men are taller than me. He says saying something. <laughs> I need a stool for the top shelf. <laughs> Let the games begin. Let the games begin. <laughs> Does anyone know how to schedule a private reading? Oh yeah, they sure do. It's in the box below. It's at that um the law of time. 
zero zero at gmail.com. It's the only way to schedule a private reading. And they're all face to face. All face to face. That's so you can't get suckered from somebody else. Because that's what they're doing. They're, they're doing these readings and they're like recording them and they're sending to people and they're they're stealing other people's business. The scammers. They can't do it to me though because all my readings are done face to face. So they have they have to imitate my face and my personality. And I, I doubt if that'd be an easy thing to do. I'm I'm kind of <laughs> I'm kind of not normal. I mean, if I was just easy homemaker, they could just act like a robot, and then maybe they can imitate me. But no, nah, no. Nah. I'm too busy being a magician. <laughs> a shape-shifting red dragon magician. Riding off in the sunset on my chariot. I can't stand cowboys. I grew up in Florida, so you have to understand. Yeehaw was like a mating call down there in the, in the northern part of Florida. No, thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stay. I'll stay south side. Clearwater, St. Pete, normal people. Hickerbillyville never worked out for me. Uh, the furthest I ever lived north was Hudson. And it was like we're living out in the woods. Kind of like here. Only it's not woods. It's, I don't even know what to call this place. It's about 20, 25 years behind the times. I could tell you that much right now. You know what? I want to tell you a secret. I have lived a lot of places in my life. I grew up, I grew up, well, I was here till I was 11 and then I moved to Florida, right? So most of my life I was in Florida. So it's very, very multicultural. I mean, everybody from everywhere lives there. Same way in LA. I come here and some white person tells me that there's a such thing called a white person's town here. And I'm like, what the hell is that? <laughs> what? So, I, you know, outside, of, and Beverly Hills ain't all white either. So, I know I don't understand the concept. But you get around these people, and you start understanding the concept. Hence the reason why I'm not dating. <laughs> I'll go on vacation to date. <laughs> I can't afford to move to where I want to move to because it's really, really expensive now. Since this shift happened, even my rent went up, skyrocketed. Here, where I am, in Florida, it went up like $1,000 a month. So, I guess I'm here, but I'll be going on vacation. You can get your sweet ass on that. I'm getting my passport ready now. Now. I'll be ready to travel by January. My kid wants me to come down there, but now that she's done what she's done, I'm not, I'm not even going to put that into my plans. West Virginia's nice. <clears throat> I'm not too much about them sticks place, though. I'm really not. I lived in Tennessee for two years. That's how I got this. I got bored and went and bought a tattoo gun. <laughs> all, all I was doing was doing, I was in a band, and so all I was doing was band shit. And then in my spare time, I went and bought myself a Tattoo gun. Yeah, property taxes, everything went up. 
Everything went up. Oh, yeah? Nice, Evelyn. I got one, 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 one of my girls here. She's talking about moving to Florida and uh, buying a house. And she says I could come live with her. Fuck everybody else. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> you come live with me. Fuck everybody else. <laughs> She's my age. Yeah, I've got my passport in the works. I just got to kind of wait. Do the waiting period. It's about three months. But I'm definitely going to be doing some traveling. I'm not going to be stuck here all the time. There are. It's just not my kind of place. You know. It's cheap. That's my kind of place. As far as that goes. It's cheaper than living anywhere else. Where am I thinking to go? Well, definitely uh, Bali, the Maldives, possibly Malaysia, um, Korea, South Korea, uh, Japan. I wasn't going to go to Vietnam until I... I found out I had to have like five different jabs to go for all kinds of stuff, yellow fever and all kinds of stuff. So I said, uh, I guess I'm going to count Vietnam out, out the picture because they got real problems. That's like going to South America, you know, you got to worry about malaria and all that stuff. Thailand is lovely. Yeah, I haven't never been there either. But like I said, it's like it's gonna be like a Southeast Asia. I've I've been all over Europe, um, and I've been to South America. I've never been to Australia. That might be another little trip. Australia, and New New Zealand, eventually. Philippines would have to fall into that one because they're on the same area. Yeah, exactly, Zena. I mean, and that's that's what I'm saying. I have to stay with, with places like that so I don't have to go get a yellow fever shot and a malaria shot. And all. There's like four or five different shots you got to get in Vietnam before you can go travel in Vietnam. And that is even just like regular travel. That's going to Hanoi, you know. Yeah, I, I, you ain't putting that shit in me. Yeah, Australia and New Zealand is probably going to be a different trip. Uh, Egypt, I'm not interested in seeing. I feel like I've already been there, and it wasn't, a, it wasn't a, um, it would be haunting for me if that makes any sense to you. Um, the Middle East altogether. I have no interest in it whatsoever. Like I said, I got memories and they're not not real good ones. So I'm, I'm just gonna stay away from that area. If you wanna see another country, you just Google it. Well, you know, that's nice and all, but um, I'll tell you what, going to different countries is definitely worth it. Uh, yeah, South America is still fighting COVID. I haven't been there since 2014, I think. I was in Costa Rica, San Jose. What a dirty place. Looks pretty on the on the on the you know things, but when you get there and you get down in San Jose, it's like, it's, it's all garbage everywhere. It's horrible. If you got them jellyfish in Australia, you got to watch out for they kill you. Yeah, I you you know where my favorite place I've ever traveled to is. Marseille, Marseille, Marseille in Nice, France. 
is like, there is nothing like, and I did this without my husband on his credit card. I went there and I, there was this little cafe at the end of the, at the end of a dock or not, it wasn't a dock. It was like these shops that went down around right where there was a wall towards the ocean. And real early in the morning, I would get up and go down there and have a cappuccino while the sun came up. And it was like the most beautiful things that I've ever seen in my life. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Uh, Paris, eh, I, 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 it, it was like being in New York. So I, I really wasn't impressed. Uh, Florence, Italy is beautiful. But uh, going to other areas in Italy, I wasn't crazy about. Spain was okay. Barcelona was fun and definitely a party place. Um, where else have I been? Oh, yeah. Uh, if you want to go see some real beer drinkers, go to Ireland or Scotland. Yeah, I didn't care for Paris either, honey. Outside of the food, you know. It's just, like I said, I'm, I might as well go to New York City. S same kind of atmosphere. Um, I've been there plenty of times, too. I've been all over the United States. I toured. I was in a rap band. I toured everywhere. Yeah, Germany is lots of beer drinkers, too. But I don't like... The, I don't, Germany, to me, looks like dead land. You know? The, the, I mean, only a couple of months out of the year is there even any color to it. So when the train rides through Berlin, I just keep going. <laughs> I'd rather go to Dublin than Berlin. <laughs> Dublin's fun. <laughs> you want to see a bar fight? And then see them shake hands afterwards? Oh, yeah. Go to any pub in Ireland. Yeah, that's that's your scorpionic energy. You got to come out of that shell sometime, baby. Especially if you want to meet people. What's the name of my brand or my band? Oh, long time ago, it was called Them. That was the last one I was in. T-H-E-M. And my old roommate still uses that band name for his band. <laughs> I started that band, but he's still using the name. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing with it. I haven't talked to him about any of it. I know he's made about half of my friends on Facebook, his friends, all my musician friends. So... They're probably, they, hell, they could be all collaborating for all I know. I ain't been in that scene since 2012, 13. I went to California and I worked as a producer for a while. I didn't, I wasn't in a band, but I worked for a lot of different bands. A lot of local bands there. Local bands there are, are people like, uh, Don Dockin and Kiss and people who are in the studio all the time. Japan, really? For some reason, I'm being called to Kyoto, to a staircase in Kyoto and in, in the Kafuni Shrine. I don't know why, and I guess I wouldn't know unless I went there. <laughs> That's great, Evelyn. You play guitar? I worked with Don Dark, and he is one of the biggest dickheads I ever met in my life. Total, total jerk. Uh, 
Oh. You play bass, huh? Yeah. My that my buddy plays bass. That's the one that took the name of my band. He says he's playing more guitar now though. So we'll see. We got a lot of friends in, in Florida that are still playing the local yokels, you know. You could even you could look up uh Stranger, the Stranger Band. That was one of our local popular bands. Uh, Sabotage was another local popular band. And what's the other one? Um, oh yeah, Sobriety X. Those were those were some of my guys I used to hang out with all the time. They were a lot of fun. Yes, I was a singer for about 20 years. And I was in my 20s and couldn't sing for shit, but I could put on one hell of a show. Just like I can dance like a mofo, but I can't walk for shit. <laughs> and, and when we did, the only big shows I really did was the one in, in Donington Park. I mean, I did a, a few big shows like biker shows and stuff like that, but nothing like Donington Park. And we pre-recorded that. So I've posted a couple of them, Zena. I've posted a couple of them. You can go to my Facebook anytime. Just look up Anya Schoenfelder. I think the link's in the, in the description box. And you can see all kinds of pictures of me with uh, the guys from Bullet for my Valentine. You got pictures of Ozzy Osbourne. I got pictures of Rob Halford. I got pictures of Rob Zombie, Ivan Moody from Five Finger Death Punch. I got lots of pictures. We had a lot of fun. I used to hang out on the set with Bullet because they were they were they were some of my buddies. We were all recording in the same studio and and I ended up making friends with them. But I can never understand anything any of them said. So I just kind of laughed along with them. Some things I caught, they're Welsh. So it's a different dialect than English. <laughs> they, thought they all talk like Ozzy, you know. Yeah, yeah, my brother used to be a drummer, too. Uh, the last attempt I tried to have a relationship with, with him was when I was in Tennessee, and he was my drummer. I bought him this set of drums, like, back in, fuck, 2006, 2007. I bought him that set of drums he had for his birthday. He's been a drummer his whole life. We 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 both were like entertainers our whole life. That was just part of part of our personality. Yeah, Welsh people are like trying to understand Aussie seriously because they have a different dialect than English, the England English. And and so they cut off their words and they have their own like wanker, you know? I mean that that's like that's like just talking to somebody normal and you'd think somebody would be calling you a name and you're not. That, that, that's just what they call people. <laughs> it's just their thing, you know, their dialect. Is, and you're like, don't, if you're easily offended, don't go there and hang out with anybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, Evelyn. I can I know a few of those drummers. <laughs> what to do, water fam? What to do, what to do? We just doing. I mean, this is kind of like a goof off session so we can vent. 
Because people be yelling at us and shit. Yep. <laughs> there you go, Evelyn. <laughs> and that'd be like, the fuck <laughs> did you just say? <laughs> Well, you know, Wolf, Wolf, you know, the, the weird part about that is, is that, you know, you can understand every word they're saying when they're singing, you know, you, especially Bullet for My Valentine, you know, Maddie's a talented, talented singer. So you can understand every, but when he's talking to his buddies, you can't understand a shit word he says. <laughs> we trip on guns. Yeah, well, that's the normal thing in the United States is to own at least one, maybe two, if you just in case one fails. So that's definitely an American thing there. That's why I don't think that that, you know, that step will ever happen unless they want to get shot. <laughs> that ain't no threat. I grew up in the South. I know. <laughs> I know. They don't care. They don't care. You weren't invited. You're uninvited. <laughs> I was in that song today, too. I'll bet. I'll bet. I'll bet, Christian. Coffee jars and potted plants. Yeah, you better be careful of that. And, and and in Korea, you're supposed to bow. And if you don't bow, do you think you're rude? If you don't say on, you say hello. They think you're rude. And everybody spits there. I heard that everybody just hawks loogies everywhere, just on the street and everywhere. And then I saw this video, you know, when COVID first came out, it said that um, the shortest horror movie you ever saw, right? And it's like all these Korean guys standing at a bus stop, right? And one hawks a loogie in the rain puddle in, in front of them. And then a bus goes by and splashes all <laughs> <laughs> they call it the shortest horror story in history. <laughs> you can probably find it on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think the bowing's cute, just like I think the the broken English of, of Korean people is cute too. I, that it's kind of a weakness. <laughs> that and Scorpios, you fuckers. That broken English from Koreans and and, and Scorpio, you mix the two together, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm in I'm in a whole lot of trouble because I'll be like uh uh uh. uh. Actually, that last guy that I dated, he said hello to me the other day, even after I've yelled at him. Um, I probably won't go back out with him, but he's a sad rising, and then his whole chart is Scorpio, except for his Venus is in Capricorn. <laughs> I told him, I said, you're more Scorpio than you are Sagittarius. He's like, no, I'm not. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Your Scorpio is everywhere else except your Venus. Your Venus is in my Uranus. <laughs> no, your Venus is in Uranus. <laughs> Fuck, I'm slap happy tonight, guys. 
I have to be, man. I got to laugh this shit off. If I don't, I'll lose my damn mind. And we can't have that. We can't have that. I've been doing real good today. I've been deep breath and releasing a lot. I have to. Italian is cute too when it's all broken. <laughs> yeah, we are. I spent a lot of time in Italy because I had a grandmother there, but uh, she wasn't like my real grandmother. She was like just this old lady they called my grandma. I think she was like my grandma's like aunt or something. She's really, really old. So I spent a little bit of time there in Florence. Firenze. <laughs> Good luck, Jeff Rowe. <laughs> I, I'm a, I, I'll see what I can throw down here, but be luck. Hey, Rebecca, how you doing, baby? <laughs> Hide. <laughs> Have the strength to see it from all perspectives, my love. Okay? Jeffro. Have the strength to see it from all perspectives and then hide. <laughs> And that's what I tell myself to <laughs> Here, gotta go. How does people go? Oh, well, you know, um, Rebecca, that, that's kind of something you got to ask yourself. See, in my case, their opinion of me is none of my business. Therefore, I don't give a shit. And that is what I'm hoping to teach a lot of you, is that you can just be you, and everybody else can suck it. It's really that simple. You know, I mean, you could care all day long what people think, but whether, whether you do it the right way or the wrong way, they're still going to talk about you. They're still going to form their own opinion of you. Opinions are like assholes. You know, everyone's got one, and they all full of shit. Um, everybody thinks you're wonderful, but they think you're magical. They uh, definitely think you're magical. You make things happen. Magician, Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Cups, and the Page of Cups. They think you're young. Are you young? Or, or a bit immature, maybe. But they think you're magical. Magical. And fast. I could be myself here if I did. I did want that. <laughs> like a Cinderella magical. I don't know. Are you Cinderella? How do I miss in pixies? I found you up as a child. Oh, how how do how do you banish? You mean? Um, pixies. I don't know if you can. They're supposed to be helpers. If they're not helpers, they're tricksters. 
And those are more like um, trolls, not pixies. For sure, for sure, Jeffro. I'm going to be 25 till I'm 105. I don't give a shit what anybody says. Oh, Christian isn't turning you on, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I said the same exact thing. I, I what what other people think of me is none of my business. I, I I stopped giving a shit because, like I said, it don't matter whether I do it the right way or the wrong way. People are still gonna tell me I'm doing it wrong or I'm doing it stupid or. You know, everybody's got their own opinion. I just stopped caring what it was and doing things my way. And if they don't like it, I'm sorry. It's not going to, you know, it's not going to phase me. I can't do it. I can't, I can't do it anymore. No, I've got no interest in going to Dubai at all. Mm -mm. Nope, nope. And no interest in the Middle East whatsoever. Not at all. <laughs> I don't like them headbands they wear either. I think they look like little kids dressing up in Batman suits. or You know, like when you used to put a, a ring around your head and just run around with a towel on your head. <laughs> you know, what? I don't have anything to show it to you. If you know what I'm talking about. Like when you were a little kid, you put like a pillowcase on top of your head and you strap a ring around it. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. This change of weather's got my sinuses just in a pickle. I can't breathe. It's uh, 76 degrees today and it's been getting down to like the 50s and 60s in the morning already here. So it's going to get cold this winter. Lovely. I need a new pair of snow boots. Especially since I don't drive. Yeah, me too. I feel the same way, Christian. I feel the same way. Satellite, I'll look at it. It's the desert, man. If I want to go to the desert, I'll just go to Arizona or look or, or Las Vegas. I mean, at least you can have a good time there. It's, it's case casinos and shit. Fifties day in Alabama. You love the snow. I hate it. I grew up in Florida, hun. My blood is thin. That snow is cold. And as soon as I walk out, on, I look like the snotty kid on the playground. You know, I got to carry tissue around with me and everything. So I don't like the snow. But it did buy me a big puffy jacket. And now all I need is gloves and a, a couple more turtlenecks and some of them big old snow boots. Oh, I love L.A. I love L.A. If it wasn't for everything that's going on there, I'd go there in a heartbeat. I got a friend of mine that lives in L.A. Let me come out and stay there and hang with them and stuff. But with everything that's going on out there, now nah, I'll sit my happy ass right here, especially for the next few months till after March. Too much gang activity to, over there. And it doesn't matter where you live. Fresno. Fresno's boring. Fresno's like going to San Bernardino. No. Boring. The only I, I loved living in Hollywood because it was like there was something to do every day. Every day, every night. I could walk down and go get something to do. 
something for dinner, you know, at a fancy restaurant, or I could go to like a cafe or Starbucks or anywhere like within walking distance. And uh, like the, the concert halls were, cause I lived up the street from the uh, Pantages Theater. So that whole Sunset Boulevard and Hollywood Boulevard was right there. So I could go like movie premieres and all kinds of stuff. Do I ski? Oh, hell to them, no. I break my damn neck. I, I'm i lucky I could stand on a pair of roller skates. I can't do inline skates. So that ought to tell you something. My legs would go like this. I tried to, I tried to water ski once. I'm glad we didn't have like cell phones that you could like record shit on back when I tried to do that. <laughs> uh, it's a 2,000 mile ride. I mean, if on a flight, it takes an hour, an hour and a half. Sometimes it depends if I have to do a connecting flight, it might take three or four hours tops. But it's pretty cheap to go back and forth to LA. Oh yeah, no doubt. If we'd had evidence of all the shit we did when we were kids, man. <laughs> I don't understand kids today. They're so like like um, scared of germs and stuff. We used to drink out of the hose. <laughs> Tap water out of the hose. We're still alive to tell about it. 22 hours to Bali. That's all right. I could curl up with a, with a damn blanket and watch some TV. I'm good. As long as I get to spend at least a couple of weeks in Bali. Well, I, I don't necessarily want to stay in Bali. I want I, I kinda I kinda want to go to the Maldives. That's really my ultimate uh vacation spot. I wanna lay in one of those nets over the water in one of those little cabanas and have people waiting on me hand and foot while I'm just laying there with my big old sun hat sitting on that. Getting rug burned from that little hammock thing. <laughs> Looking at the sharks swimming below me, you know, because the water's so clear. But if you if you've ever if you've ever looked at the the accommodations in in the Maldives, oh my God, talk about the lap of luxury and the food. <laughs> 20 hours on a plane. I've spent 20 hours on a plane before. Not 20, I guess 15. Yeah, that'd be the problem, Zia. I would never want to come home. I'd, I'd keep wanting to renew my visa. Be like, oh, fuck, fuck going back to the United States. This, this place is beautiful. <laughs> I'm in paradise. Why would I go back to the United States? It isn't really though once you're there, Zena. I mean, once you once you paid for the flight, because the flight's expensive. But once you pay for the flight and your accommodations, the rest of it's fairly cheap. The food, everything. You can't take more than three hours on a plane, then you definitely don't need to be going anywhere. Cause like I mean, sometimes going to California is longer than that. Florida's an hour. I'd rather use my own wings. <laughs> what kind of wings are those? <laughs> 420 wings? <laughs> yeah, me too, Diana. And I think after this transit's over... I'm going to figure out a way to get the hell out of here, at least for a little minute. Go where there's some hot guys. Maybe I'll go to L.A. for a weekend just so I can be in Koreatown. Shroomy wings. <laughs> Still siphon <side> wings. <laughs> I can get those in California, too. 
So, yeah, maybe maybe I'll plan I'll plan a little trip out to California. Got my kind of men there. Old town of them, old city of them. It's like if I wanna if I wanna visit like six different countries at once, I just go to L.A. They've got six different countries right there, within walking distance of each other. Try to take a book. You sound like my kid, Christian. She knows. What's my favorite food? I'd have to say a toss up between Japanese and Korean. Please do reason. Do you like my little reels that I do? My my product reviews and, and grandma's roller skates. And, Making fun of Pisces. I'm a Pisces. I can make fun of me and myself if I want. Have you ever looked at some of mine? They're fucking hysterical. Anybody can do tarot on the shorts, okay? I prefer to make fun of things and make people laugh. I made fun of those TikTok pants, too. Uh, yeah, those TikTok. I, I I said I said I guess you gotta have a butt for it to work because I'm old, so I don't have a butt, and it just looks like a pair of pants. <laughs> just looks like a tight ass pair of pants that's stuck on my butt. <laughs> and man, they are tight. They squeeze like. Like, you feel like you're stuck in, like, this thing that's going to squeeze. Like, the rest of you is just being squeezed out the top like a tube of toothpaste. I mean, they're cute, but damn. I don't do TikTok. I tried TikTok. I don't like it. Take those non-ass eight dollar eight pills. What what's that? Was it somebody gives you an ass when you don't have an ass? I got a cream I rub on my butt. It works a little bit. Sure, Diane. I'm in Ohio. I don't have a flat ass, but I'm not big. I'm not a big person. I've never had a big rear end. I've always been built like a linebacker. I got the big shoulders that come down like this, so it's kind of like a dude. And then absolutely no hips. And a little butt that goes like that. <laughs> I've always been built like that since I was a little kid. So I was a teenager since it took me till 16 to get boobs. So I was a little late, late bloomer. Yeah, lip bubble. I got a little, little bubble. Not much, but enough to know that it ain't stuck down to my thighs. Oh, I'll bet, woof, woof. Guys love a big butt. In fact, I had a guy tell me he was no longer attracted to me because I lost weight. I was like, yeah, yeah well, then you ain't attracted to me anyway. You were attracted to my rear end, not my face. <laughs> Christian. <laughs> I'm a mess. Am I a mess? I could be. Do I care? Not really. 
tonight we just we just talking about all these uh entities that are flying around in the sky what's less less not love a big butt what was i going to talk about tonight oh yeah the guilt trips the vibrational mismatches man like that lady that called me yesterday i told you all about Start one did didn't want to pay me for a reading, but wanted to yell at me and tell me that she was above me and she knew she knew exactly what was going on, but she needed me to tell her and and then wouldn't let me talk to her and I'm like going, you know what? I gotta end this conversation and I blocked her from everything. It's like I gotta end this conversation. You're not you're not listening to what I'm saying. So why'd you even call me? Let alone try to get me to give you a reading for free. Well, you shouldn't charge for anything like that. You know, that's not right. Blah, 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 blah. Energy for energy, baby. You just got the energy back you just handed to me. So I hope you enjoy that shit. You think your life was fucked up before? You stepped in the wrong bitch's lane now. <laughs> Sorry. Hey Benjamin, how you doing, baby? He's he's one of the only ones to see my dirty uh, cool whip video. I, I he did. Anybody else hear about that? <laughs> I got age restricted. <laughs> I I put it on private because I didn't want anybody to get offended because it was supposed to be funny. It was supposed to be hysterical because. I I get like two minutes into them ASMR videos and I feel like that guy on that poster, you know, where he's sitting there and then his chin is all of a sudden on on the bottom on, sitting on the on the table while his face is still up here. Yeah, that's how I feel about those videos. So I thought I'd make one that wasn't so bored. <laughs> I didn't say a word through the whole thing, but who eats who eats whipped cream with a fork? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> second of all, I had such a blast doing it. I almost spit it all over <laughs> all over my phone video tape. And I said it's a fucking joke, people. And the age restricted me. Said it was pornographic. <laughs> so what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? <laughs> I look like I give you the... <laughs> yeah, it'd be like that. <laughs> I look like I do a good job. Oh, yeah, it'd be like that. I'm over 50, baby. I learned my lessons. Well, thank you, Rebecca. I try like hell. I'm trying to hang on to what I got left anyway. <laughs> Can you tie a cherry stem in your mouth in a knot, Christian? Now that's talented. Yeah. It was cool with, with the fork, Jeffro. I sat there and I was licking it off and I was like sticking it in my <laughs> I said, I said, well, at least it ain't boring. <laughs> I didn't say a word through it. I just kept licking my cool whip <laughs> for about three minutes and I shut it off. And YouTube flagged me, says that's age restricted and <laughs> pornographic. <laughs> it's a fucking joke because you, the, uh, these ASMR videos just freak me out. How somebody, you know, I saw this one stream of this one girl, she wasn't even there. Yeah, exactly. If they were making some money, Benjamin, it probably wouldn't have gotten flagged. Uh, but she, there was there was this one chick. She had she had her her camera aimed, and this is somebody like in Thailand or something like that or Philippines. She had her 
camera aimed at her couch and she said, and, and there was a, a sign that says, this is a non-action ASMR video and thousands of people were watching it for hours. There's nobody there <laughs> and nobody talking, nothing. It was just somebody's couch with a pillow on it. They're <laughs> around somewhere. <laughs> I'd like to see those, Benjamin. <laughs> you ain't a bad looking youngster there. And you grow up, so that works. The person behind YouTube has issues. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Benjamin's a cutie, I can't help it. <laughs> woof woof, you ain't lying, man. You get in your eye, you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> that's so. I, so I might could be my superpower. Get some of them things like Spider Man, you know, like you know, them things that he squeezes to spit out spider webs. Only mine will be whipped cream. <laughs> be the whipped cream lady. <laughs> I'll have a B fifty two strapped around my neck in shots. <laughs> Why not? It gets sticky. Well, of course it does. That's the point, isn't it? <laughs> as far as I know, that's always been the point. Ninja whipped cream. <laughs> Freddy whip. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, fucking oof, oof. <laughs> put it in, put it in the box, uh, in your cuffs of your, <laughs> of your shirt and walk up and go, psh, psh. <laughs> make sure that shit is good and shook up first. <laughs> that's not cool, no, that's not cool, it cool, tastes good, but that ready whip is dangerous. <laughs> People, people get high on that stuff, at least for two minutes. That I never understood. You know, people would say, oh, let's let, let's do, uh, what is that, MDMA? That, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, we'd do it. They'd be like, what the fuck is that? First of all, I can't do that, that other thing they're talking about. I tried it once with my husband, and it made me throw up. And then I felt really icky the rest of the night, and I never tried it again. Second of all, why don't you just go huff some paint? I mean, that's easier. <laughs> I mean, for real, for real. I, I've never done it. I think this stuff smells disgusting, personally. But whatever. A double barrel can. Get him right in the eye. That's right in the eye. <laughs> hey Frank, you were talking about squaring people in the eye with ready whip. <laughs> it's our new uh, weapon of choice. <laughs> woof woof gonna do it to her torch. Bitch, I'm here. We're here. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> There's a hairstyle for you. <laughs> That's getting smacked in the head with, with, with ready whip. <laughs> huh. Or what's, what's that? What's that? Uh, eighties uh, hairspray we used to use to make it this aquanet. He used to make her hair like this big on purpose. On purpose. 
<laughs> you know, when I saw that movie, Diana, I started crying. I was laughing so hard. I was crying. And nobody would, nobody else was laughing as hard as I was. They all thought it was funny, but I thought it was like the best joke I've ever seen. <laughs> and she's sitting there talking to me like, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, Moose, I could use a little of that. Yuck. <laughs> You put stuffs in your hair. <laughs> that only happens by accident. <laughs> I actually woke up and say, oh, I can use some of that for some moose. <laughs> Leave some dirty bitches tonight. You live my flag this whole uh, life. <laughs> oh, yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Jolie's here. Angelina's cousin. <laughs> I got it. Oh, <laughs> really like that cool way video, didn't you? <laughs> oh, you guys are killing me. <laughs> it's so much going through. <laughs> And I can hear you. You probably can try and understand. I don't even know the words. Words to that song. I just kind of. You, you ever sing a song? You, you don't know. You don't know what the words are, but you think you do, so you just kind of sing them. But no, it makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> I was harnessing my chi. <laughs> Not enough legs to get to it. <laughs> you have to do another video now. What well, on the on the cool whip? I'll just put that one back up. <laughs> hey, you all will get the joke anyway. A lot of the other people will probably be uh um, what do you call that? Insulted? I don't even know how to spell that name, so it's time to use a butter knife. I'll tell you what, I'll do a peanut butter and a butter knife. How's that? OT Mobile, leave me alone. I know, I know. I'm trying to hook up my I'm trying to hook up my team mobile internet, but I had stuff to do, so I haven't had time to really do that. <laughs> yeah, we did it on purpose, man. We, we, we made that shit as high as possible. I mean, I, I used to have like a fro. Like, I had really long hair, so I had that Bon Jovi thing going on when I was in the 20s. And, and I loved it. I just go, the, I, I would literally get out of the shower, go like this until it dried, spray it, and I was good to go out. <laughs> Never even had to use a blow dryer or nothing. Just good to go. Some aquanet and a little fluff. Yeah, we had a lot of fun in the 80s. I don't care what anybody's got to say. I made the drinking age by like a few months because I was born in February. And, and drinking age changed in Florida in like I think July. So I was grandfathered in at 19, and I was able to go to the bars from 19 on. So needless to say, I took full advantage of that. I didn't have the Farrah hair. I had the Bon Jovi hair. Yeah, that was, that was my gig. I hung around in a lot of, a lot of uh, heavy metal places and, and stuff like that, a lot of, a lot of clubs. Well... I was in bands too, so I dealt with a lot of musicians. I just looked like them. We all looked alike, and just in different sexes and different sizes and shapes. And some of us wore pantsuits, and some of us wore 
you know, we wore a lot of weird clothes back then. Oh, I did too. Yours was the poodle look. Oh, you had one of those going on. Uh, uh, oh, what's some guys' names? Hall and Oates, dude. <laughs> or uh, who else had the curlies? Freddie Mercury. Um, there's a lot of people. Oh, the flock of eagles. God, I forgot all about them. Man, how did they get their hair to stand like that? That's what I want to know. I mean, they used to get it to stand straight on in like that. And then it would like, there wasn't no hair here, but the, the hair stood straight up here. And, 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 and it would just stay while they were rocking out. I mean, that had to be some like Gorilla Glue, gorilla glue hairspray. Because I know my Aquanet didn't hold up all night. I used mousse too, but it didn't hold up all night. Especially when I'm swinging my head around like this. You know, because that was a normal thing. It's probably how we all got whiplash early in life. Oh, yeah, the 80s were the best. The 80s and the 90s were the best. Yeah, this is true, Christian. This is true. That, and and, and a, lot of, a lot of these people nowadays, you know, they listen to the music, but they can't even imagine the fun that we had. And the way that we, the only way we took pictures was on a, on a Polaroid, and then we had to have them developed. And if we had any naked ones on them or anything, we would get, we would have to, the lady at the, um, that would develop them would get to see them too. So I, I've got some of those somewhere. You guys want to see me when I was a teenager? I got a picture of me when I was a teenager. I give it to you right now. I was looking through this shit the other day. I got pictures in here from 1935. Here's when I got married. Me and my husband. Check this out, guys. You're going to shit. That's me. I dyed my hair black when I was like 15 because I thought it was cool, but ended up looking like I had my dog on my head. And no boobies. 14 years old. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. I was a kid once, I swear. And here I am in my normal attitude, making faces at the camera because that's what I did. Here's my old house when I was married, guys. Look, look, that's my old bedroom. This bedroom. This is the backyard looking out into the first tee. My laundry room, I'd always keep a mess. Oh, the road to Hana. Hawaii pictures. I got pictures of everything here. This is my little brother. And you can understand why he got made fun of a lot as a kid. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Check out that air. He, he died. He's not here no more. But I got all these old pictures from the 1970s. See? This is my dog. We had her for like 13 years. And that's my my mom said that I used to, when I dyed my hair black, I looked like I had her on my head. Oh yeah, that kind of stuff is right of my right up my alley. Woof, woof. I'd love to do shit like that. Cigarette <laughs> in my hand, fifteen years old. 
Yeah, I was, uh, I was, I was juvenile delinquent. My mom let me smoke when she caught me smoking because she said she'd rather me do it around her than catch the house on fire. So she let me smoke. <laughs> there you guys go. See, I've always been like this. This ain't anything new. Look. <laughs> I, was, I was about 15 there. So I've always been like this. I've always been a goofball. That was our cat, Hershey. He was a Siamese cat. He ran away. Can you blame him? I mean, look at what I was doing. Oh, yeah. I was 35 when I got my new set, Diana. Before that, they, they were aboriginal, you know. I, I, and, and I made the mistake, okay, when I designed the, the inside of the interior of this house, okay, I made the, the, the huge ass mistake of putting mirrors along the whole side of the wall from the bathroom down halfway down my bedroom. I don't know if you can see it on here, but um, so I had to walk out of the bathroom, walk past this big ass mirror every time I got out of the shower, or every time I got out of the tub, and I'm I got this nice body and all, and then I got these boobs that are flat and point to the floor, and I'm like, <laughs> I kept looking at them, and I looked at my husband, and I said, we got to do something about this. It don't fit the picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just recently quit. I mean, cigarettes anyway. But see, here it is. Did you see that mirror down halfway down my, my room there? I only made half the room mirrors. So uh the, the bathroom was back here and I had to walk past those mirrors every time I every time I uh Every time I got out of the shower, which kind of sucked, because then I was looking at myself all the time, and I, I, I was like, boy, I placed those mirrors in a bad spot. Anyways, I, I went through a lot of the stuff that my mom saved for me, and I found my baby bracelet, proving to these morons in Ohio that I was not born on it. I got a new birthday when I moved here. They gave me a birthday of 27th, and my birthday's on the 28th because I was born at 1.19 a.m., and I guess the doctor got off early, so he signed off at midnight, and they got me down for my birthday being the 27th here. All the rest of my records and everything else said the 28th. We did have the original birth certificate once, and the other day I was going through all the stuff that my mom kept in mind, and I found my baby bracelet, my baby card from, and I was like, now I can prove to these people that they suck at bookkeeping. That's a Virgo trait. Sorry, my midheavens in Virgo. I'm very, very meticulous when it comes to being on time and, and, and having things in order. And I'm just, I'm just one of those people. That's why nothing is around you can find every every uh outlet in my house yeah they, they got the wrong birthday and i was like now what do i gotta do now change my whole life no no they they're still going off of my regular birthday with my medical records and everything they're not it's like it's like that that really doesn't even exist except for the fact that it's there and like i said now i've got proof that they're they're full of shit so Yeah, that was the point, Becky. I, I mean, I, w I wanted to make it look more, you know, it, they had 20-foot ceilings, so I wanted to, like, fill it in because it just looked so empty. And and so I put mirrors all over the place. I have fun decorating that house. Yeah, February 28th is my birthday. I had a whole lot of fun decorating that house.
This is the first big house I ever own, owned, so yeah. And it was nice living the millionaire lifestyle for about 10 years. I'm not going to lie. It was the hardest thing to walk away from. The husband was the easy thing to walk away from. Walking away from being able to walk out to the first tee in the morning and, and not have to, you know, pay a million dollars because I lived on the damn golf course was a beautiful thing. Cream-filled donut day. <laughs> oh. You ain't seen me do one of those yet. <laughs> you just you just started something, Benjamin. <laughs> Eclairs. <laughs> Long yawns. <laughs> oh no. If I had eat donuts every day, my ass would be huge. I can gain weight that quick. All I gotta do is look at it the wrong way. So I watch what I eat. I'm very conscious about what I put in my body. Now I am. I didn't used to be. I mean, I, yeah, I guess I always have been, pretty much. Which is why I guess I'm still doing all right at 56. <laughs> if I wasn't feeling so bad, I would go get me some donuts. Oh, poor thing. I, I, I'm psychically sending you the flavor of donuts. <laughs> no comment, Ben. No comment. <laughs> we ain't no slacker. Just put it that way. Well, thank you, Frankie. Thank you. Like I said, I, I work at it. It takes money. It takes time. It takes not eating because I do a lot of I do a lot of fasting. I fast for like 16 hours before I eat, 16 to 17 hours before I eat every day. And I pretty much only eat one meal a day. And then I snack on stuff like avocados and boiled eggs and things like that. Well, good, Diana. And that is the whole point to a lot of our lives. Some people can't fucking stand to be in our lives. Because we have too good of a time and they're too serious. Why so serious? Ain't, not, ain't like any of us are getting out of here alive. I don't understand what the problem is. You know? Yeah, Ben, that's exactly it. And I'm sticking to that. Well, I can't get it. I, I got I got to stay at 29 because my grandma, she never got over 29. My mom never got only over 29, so I can't go over 29. Yeah, I eat whatever I want, you know, Frankie. I just don't, you know, I mean, if I want a steak sandwich, I'll eat a steak sandwich. But a lot of times, you know, it's like I, I'll eat at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and that's about the only time I eat. I take I take supplements in the morning. I drink some little lemon and uh, cranberry juice and it keeps you energetically copacetic. I mean, if you eat a lot, that makes you tired. I know after I eat, if I like order, say, like a three cheese uh, calzone and, and a smashed cannoli from, from the pizza place, the local pizza place here, after I get done eating that, I want to take a nap. So... Hey, Princessa, how you doing? Did you enjoy my Pisces video? Well, I'm glad we're glad to have you. Welcome to the fam. 29 holding, exactly. You're asking about financial ventures. It looks like you're saving up for something, possibly a home. Anywhere from four to seven months, Princessa. I don't know what that means, but you might. 
It looks like you might be trying to save up for a house, but I don't know. Is that, am I right? A lot of times I am. Sometimes I don't like to be right. I can't chew gum. I got this big piece of metal in my mouth, man. It is stick to it. It sticks to it every time I try it. I'm already a grinder because I got this thing in my mouth. A couple more years of wearing it and I'll have straight teeth. <laughs> Not the ones at the top, but the ones on the bottom like they really matter. Yeah, I, I'm not I'm not big on the junk, but I like to take this stuff that I call it's called MCT uh, vanilla um, creamer, and you buy it like from a health store, and I'll take that and, and stevia and honey, and I'll put it all over one of those. Uh, um, oh God, the tortillas, the ones the. The ones that are supposed to be healthy for you. And I'll put honey all over it. And then I'll put the stevie on it. And then I'll put the vanilla stuff on it. And then I'll roll it up. And that'll be like my treat. Although I did eat a cannoli this week. So bad on me. It was awesome though. Yeah, this place has got smashed cannolis. Oh. I'd be I'd be six hundred pounds if I lived in Italy. I love the food there. I don't think I ever want to get married again. I really don't. What well, sounds like witchcraft? But does. Did I know shit? No, I just know shit. That, that just came with the territory. The craft that I practice is more, oh, the Stevie and the Honey. Yeah, it's, it, it's good. I love honey. I always have a jar, a big thing of honey in the house because it's like that's like my favorite sweet ever. Well, like I said, when I go on tour, you guys know that you need to make a place for me because I'm gonna come sleep on your couch and eat all your food. So. You got you got to make room for me when it's time for me to go on vacation. Especially you, Christian. That have that fridge full, bud. We go be sitting there watching stupid movies, like Happy Gilmore, which is like one of my all-time favorite movies ever. I don't want to be celibate. I just don't want to get married. Who's to say I'm going to like you in a year? If you make it a whole year with me, you're something else. I'm a Pisces. I get bored easy. I, I admit my flaws. Diana's leaving. Bye-bye, sweetheart. Have a good night. We're getting ready to close down. Tell me about getting bored. <laughs> it, it's just, that's a Piscean thing. You know, if if somebody isn't interesting enough of a, of a, of a, 
lover or whatever and they don't keep our interest we will go somewhere else it, it's it's the the two fishies you know I'm good at I'm good at being loyal to like your board. But I'm up front and honest about it. I don't lie to nobody. And, and, and believe me, if it if it was somebody that that I was gonna be married to, you bet your ass you better come correct. And you better come straight. I mean straight up. No bullshit. Cause if my first sign of bullshit. Is my exit. That is the the exit door sign. Bye now. Bye, bitch. Gotta go. <laughs> I don't play. Ain't nobody got time for that. And how far how far did it get you to be faithful? Were they faithful? Probably not. And, and and like I said, you spend 10 years faithful to the same person. And, and what do you got to show for it in the end? You got shit to show for it. I'm not saying go out there and sleep around or whatever. I'm saying find yourself a good piece and keep it. That's all I want. <laughs> Find a good piece and hang on to it. And then you go home. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> I'll sleep by myself. Leos have the same problem a lot of Pisces do, Ben. They get bored easy. You should know that. Faithful and true, man. TMI, Christian. TMI. <laughs> we didn't need to know that, but okay. Freak flags flying all over the place. <laughs> yeah, me either. Especially in the place that I'm at. I, you guys have seen the pictures, so you know, I'm pretty celibate. That's okay, though. I know it'll be made up for here eventually. I'll make sure of that. All right, guys. I'm going to get going. I've been here at buck 38. And love is overrated. I mean, that kind of love anyway. I think everybody should love everybody, period. But I think, I think monogamous love is overrated. Um... I love you guys, and I'll be back here uh, on Saturday night, same time, same station. Uh, not sure what we're going to be talking about, but it's getting awful close to the fall solstice. So I may do a fall solstice ritual uh, for all of us. I have a certain one that I'm doing for my apprentices. But uh, I'll do one for everybody on the on the fall solstice. I think that's the twenty second. All right. Anybody? I've got two spots open. Two spots open on my apprentice list. If you're interested, hit me up in the email below. I give you all the deets. If you're interested in private reading, hit me in the email below. I'll give you all the deets. And until I see you on Saturday night, you guys take care of yourselves. I love you. Don't forget that. You always got me. See you then. Bye.